What is good, everybody? I hope everyone's doing great. Renee Box Young, thank you so much for showing the love. Thank you, community. We are one. Y'all know what it is, man. Uh, thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, tuning into lives, having a ball with you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, we are family, you know, and I want to get to this. Uh, what Jermel Charlo said, he said he doesn't want the judges to make the decision for him. So interesting stuff. You know, I mean, I kind of want to do a, a, a type of breakdown, you know, with this video and who I think is going to win. OK, and uh, first and foremost, I want to focus on what Jermel Charlo said. Lions only salute to the lion. Definitely. And salute to Jason Rosario. Banana, man. I mean, you know, it's gonna be a great fight. I love it. So many great fights, you know, in these months, um, you know, in these months to come. So it's going to be some good stuff. Definitely. So let's get to it, man. We got to the article here. Um, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, this is an, uh, you know, as usual, BoxingScene.com. You can check it out. Link in the description. Let's see what he has to say here. Jamel Charlo, I don't want judges to make decisions for me against Rosario right now. Let's get right to it right here. You know, it says, I don't want the judges to make the decision for me. Charlo told PBC uh, Ray Flores during the workout. I don't know if you guys saw it, but nice workout. You know, I want to be the one that fight this fight. And I want to win. This is what Charlo's saying. And whatever I have to do. If I defeat him in 12, I defeat him in 12. But that's not. Check this out. That's not what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Obviously, every setup punch is a knockout punch. Excuse me. Every time he make a mistake, I'm trying to make him pay. Ouch. So if that's the case, I've got to give you what you want. Oh, man. <laughs> this is scary. I'm going for what I go for, but I can't speak on it like that because it's not right. That's not how I do. I don't predict the fight. I am the fighter. Wow. So, you know, the thing here is that, um, you know, it, it, it's interesting how it talks about here. That debatable defeat to Tony Harrison is why the WBC uh, champ is extremely motivated to continue talking, taking matters into his own hands, September 26th. So that's the thing here. You know, uh, the whole decision between, you know, uh, Harrison and Charlo in the first fight, you know, I think personally that Harrison won just by the skin of his teeth. I was inclining towards, um, you know, after the decision, when I reflect upon it, when I watched the fight, I thought, you know, Charlo won. But then upon reflecting, you know, and, um, you know, well, it is what it is. But I think he just by the skin of his teeth, man. And, um, you know. And then the rematch, great rematch. Charlo, you know, took him out, took out Harrison. And I was, oh, I'm, I always go for Charlo. You know what I mean? I like him a lot. You know, I like the, the both brothers. You know what I mean? And, you know, this is the thing here that Charlo, he really wants to, uh, doesn't want to depend on the judges, man. Definitely doesn't. Now, when you go to, I want to, I want to go to this, all right? Let's, let's check it out a little more in depth, all right? I want to go to their, to their records here. You know, Charlo, interestingly enough, you guys, you know, they're the same height. You know, you compare their height. Look at this. 5'11". They're both 5'11". And you have Charlo um, with the reach advantage. You know, 73 inches, if I'm not mistaken there. 73 inches in this is the seminary. So you got a 3-inch three, three reach advantage. So I think that's great for Charlo. Um, you know, and what he mentioned here, you know, um, you know, each punch, every setup punch is a knockout punch, you know. I, I think that Charlo is going to box, you know, uh, he's going to he's going to do the boxing game with Jason Rosario. And at the same time, you know what he's saying here, he's going to be each punch he throws is going to be a tough punch. It's going to be a hard punch, you know. So and that's usually how uh, Jermel punches, man. You know, he has power behind those punches. And when you go, you know, he he's fought like he has, you know, stronger competition in his resume. You know what I mean? You got Tony Harrison twice. You got Austin Trout. You got Lubbin. Yeah, Lubbin, if I'm not mistaken, moved up or what have you. Right. But. You know, but when you compare, when it comes to this, you know, the the, the resumes, um, you know, biggest relevant fight, as we all know, uh, you know, was Julian Williams. Julian Williams, J-Rock, you know, he has the chin. That's the thing. J-Rock has a chin, you know what I mean? He has a weak chin. I mean, that's the thing about J-Rock. So when you compare and when you see the trajectory of these two fighters and the people they have fought, the fighters they have fought, you know, Charlo outweighs it. You know what I mean? Charlo has more experience. And I've said it time and time again, that loss that Charlo, you know, that, that really, really debatable loss that he has on his record, 
that really helped Charlo, man. It just fueled the fire even more. And, you know, Charlo, I see him as a nonstop, an unstoppable freight train. An unstop. I see Charlo like that right now in the division, man. I don't, I don't think Rosario is going to have, you know, the tools. He has the boxing skills. Yes, we know that. But, you know, he beat... He beat J-Rock, and J-Rock, as it is, has a chin. I mean, we already know that. Um, Charlo, he doesn't have a weak chin. What I mean by saying J-Rock has a chin, I mean, he has a weak chin, right? I mean, he can get knocked out, J-Rock. I mean, we know that. Uh, Charlo doesn't have a weak chin. He's strong, man. He can take punches. Um, you know, he can box. Um, I think he's going to box more against Rosario. I think he has an, a great game plan. Um, and at the same time, you know, he's going to be punching hard. So, so Rosario, I don't think he's just ready. I don't, I don't, I mean, he has skills. Definitely. We all know that he, he can box, you know, good on the inside and stuff, but I just see Charlo on a different level. This is how I see this, you guys. I mean, it can be debatable what I'm saying, but it's all good. You know, I, I got, I got Charlo taking out Rosario, man, because, because of the experience, because of, you know, we got the reach advantage also, you know, the, the opponents he has faced, you know, how determined he is, you know what I mean, um, you know, we already know also Charlo has skills, you know, so I mean, I just see, I just see Charlo outweighing this, this, this competition, man, um, now there's something else I wanted to point up, point on that, I think I talked about it in one of my lives recently that, and it's interesting, and it's important to emphasize it, I'm not saying that's what it's going to be with Rosario, but it may happen, I'm not sure though, you know, I don't know Rosario as much, a lot of us in the box community don't really know Rosario too much. You know what I'm saying? He just popped up, boom, and then fought J-Rock and bam, champ. So, um, you know, but what I can say is this, you know, when I think about it, you go back to fighters constantly. This happens that, you know, mm, happened with Porter, but it, but it's kind of different with Porter. But, um, you know, I see it with a later Alvarez when he beat Kovalev, you know, he took out Kovalev, knocked him out in the first fight and then you know it seems like he got complacent didn't train as hard rematched Kovalev Kovalev was focused again you know what I'm saying um and Kovalev outboxed took out uh you know beat a later Alvarez he beat him nicely you know what I mean in the rematch um we don't know if you know same thing happened with Ruiz right beat Anthony Joshua in impressive fashion and then just didn't really focus too much because he got the belts he got the success you know what I'm saying um, and he just in the rematch he got taken out. I mean, it can it that can be a factor here when it comes to Jason Rosario. You know, he he beat J Rock. He got the belts. We don't know how hungry he is. You know what I mean? I mean, but Jason Rosario does look like a serious cat. You know what I mean? He does look serious. He does look determined and motivated. But we're gonna see, man. I mean, that's an element that's kind of in the shadows that we cannot see. It's kind of not clear. Um, as far as Jason Rosario, but I just see Charlo, man, this guy, you know what I'm saying, this, this lion, you know, he's always, he's always in shape, he's always training, he's always ready, he's always fit, you know, so, and it's with both Charlos, you know, I just, I don't know, many people may see it really, really close, but the more, you know, when I saw that media workout, when I hear him speak, um, I just see, you know, Charlo, taken out, taken out, uh, Rosario, um, now, the thing here, though, the thing here, though, is that I don't know, you know, styles are different, whatever, right, but when he rematched, uh, Harrison, I think Charlo was kind of waiting too much, but then again, you can say he's patient, that's another factor, that's another, you know, advantage that, that Charlo has, you know, he's an emotional cat, you know what I mean, um, but he's patient, that that's good patience a virtue that's great for a boxer you know what i'm saying so but the thing here the reason why i mentioned this is that if 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 he waits too much for rosario you know what i mean that might be a problem uh, you know it, it might be a problem i was just reminded right now of wilder and ortiz rematch you know um yes i mean you know the thing here is that you know some people may think well yeah you know um Charlo isn't a Wilder, yeah, of course not, but it just, it just, well, I'm talking about the patience factor, you know, Wilder, you know, how he was waiting with Ortiz, that's not good, man, I mean, that's just my personal opinion, you know, just waiting so much, Ortiz was racking them points up, and the thing here is that, you know, if Charlo waits too much, like he was doing quite a bit against Harrison, I understand he was waiting for the weak point, and bam, you know, and just took him out, bam, took out Harrison, you know what I'm saying, 
Um, if he does that with uh, Rosario, you know, he has to he has to be careful. You know, he has to um, you know, but I don't think he's gonna do that. You know, I don't think he's gonna just sit there waiting. You know what I'm saying? I think he's gonna box more, and I hope he does. I hope Charlo boxes. You know, boxes out uh, Rosario. You know, plays the chess match. You know, just boxes and waits patiently at the same time. And he's gonna take Rosario. That's how I see it going on. That's how I see it happening. You know what I'm saying? So. But hey, big ups to Rosario, man. I got nothing but respect for these fighters and all fighters in general. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's gonna be a great fight. And I just wanted to emphasize what Charlo's saying here. He doesn't he doesn't want to depend on the judges because he knows how judges are. You know, what happened with Rowley recently, you know what I'm saying? So judges are shady sometimes. And Charlo knows it. You know what I'm saying? Charlos know it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and boxers in general should know this. You know what I'm saying? And um you know, just for the fact that he's saying this shows that I think he's going to really show up and show out. You know, just for the fact that he's saying he doesn't want the judges to make the decision for him, that goes to show and it implies that he's going for the knockout, man. He's going to, but but he's going to fight though. You know, he's going to box, you know, so, um, you know, he doesn't want to depend on the judges. So I think he's going to be even more determined. He knows what it is, you know, to deal with judges that are controversial or what have you, right? Uh, controversial uh, scorecards. So we'll see. What do you guys think? Who do you have winning? I got Charlo. I got Charlo. And it's not a favoritism thing. No, I just, it's it's all because of what I explained earlier. You know, when you talk about the resumes, when you talk about the type of competition that Mel has faced, when you talk about the experience he has had with the first fight against Harrison, when you talk about, you know, the patience, uh, fire, determination, hunger, I just see it more with Charlo. You know what I mean? Um, but who knows, right? Rosario, it seems like he's a little quieter. Um, and, but I just don't, uh, you know, I just don't see it. I don't see uh, Rosario. I'm inclining more now. The more I think about it, the more I, I have reflected upon it ever since the fight has been announced. Um, you know, now's the time for me to say, I think, uh, you know, I got Charlo, man. I definitely got Charlo um, with all these factors, you know, considering all these factors I was talking about. So what do you guys think? Who do you think is going to win? Go ahead and comment below. Go ahead and share. Go ahead and subscribe. You know, if there are any new listeners, go ahead and subscribe. Got some great content here on the channel. Open platform, open community right here, man. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? We're, we are one community in the box community. Thank you guys so much for your support, man. Renee Box Young, peace out. Stay safe, fam.